almost here. And I'm sure everyone wants to have shiny, glassy skin for the New Year's. So, in this video, I'm going to share a few tips on how you can achieve your skin goals. Hey guys, happy holidays! My name is Bahar and I'm excited about sharing my knowledge and personal experiences about skincare with you. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you too can join our community. Near the holidays, it's very tempting to change your routine completely or do one of these at-home treatments. But doing that can cause a lot of issues. For example, you can break out, you can have a zit, you can be inflamed, a product doesn't go very well with your skin, and a lot of other issues. If you want to do any of these, it's best to do it a month in advance so your time so your skin has enough time to adjust to all of the new products and even if it does break out you have enough time to deal with it not to have like acne prone skin during the holidays if you're thinking about getting a facial or doing any clinical treatments it's best to do it two to three weeks in advance Clinical treatments and facials can cause a lot of sensitivity and redness irritation. So if you don't want to look like a tomato in every holiday and Christmas photo, it's best if you do it two to three weeks in advance. And please do not wear makeup over it because makeup can further the irritation. So you're trying to cover it up, but you're just making it worse. I'm sure that your esthetician or dermatologist will tell you this as one of the aftercare steps after a treatment, but I'm just here to remind you that avoid makeup after doing said procedures. And make sure to do every single step that they tell you to do after the treatment so you can get the best results possible from that procedure. One of the most popular masks lately is clay masks, and for good reason. They're very effective, but clay masks work by pulling the oil out of your skin. And that can put you at a high risk of, well, acne and zits. Don't do a clay mask right before the holidays because you may have a zit in your photos. If you want to do a clay mask, do it a week before. So even if you do have a pimple, you have enough time to treat it and have the skin that you want. Next is exfoliation. Exfoliation has become very popular for very good reason, especially for dark spots. And I know that we do not want dark spots on the holidays, but I beg of you. Do not exfoliate every single night. I have even seen some people that exfoliate two times a day and their skin has never looked worse. Over exfoliation can damage your moisture barrier that results in redness, irritation, and in most scenarios, acne. So just leave your skin alone, do exfoliate, but do the bare minimum. You do not want to deal with a damaged moisture barrier, trust me. Repairing that is something that you do not want to go through during the holidays. Your skin already looks beautiful, just leave it be. If you think you're doing all of these tips right, if you think you are watching what you put on your skin, if you think you're doing your exfoliation right, if you think that every product that you're using is compatible with your skin, but you're still not getting the results that you want, maybe it's time to look at what you're eating. What we eat in our diet can be very effective on how our skin looks. For example, maybe you've been drinking a lot of sugar drinks. Maybe you've been eating a lot of junk food. Maybe you were eating a lot of chips, a lot of salty foods. Or maybe you've actually been using a lot of dairy products. All of these can have very negative effects on our skin. Let me explain why. For example, salt. Salt is, well, it absorbs a lot of water in our body that in the long run can cause dull patchiness and very dry skin. Sugar, on the other hand, can, well, sugar does break down collagen and elastin in our body. The very things that are keeping our skin 
in its place. It's keeping it firm. So by taking a lot of sugar into your body, you're going to, well, have very saggy, tall, and well, premature aging at maybe the age of 40. So please reduce your sugar intake. I don't need to say about fast food. Everyone knows that it's extremely bad for your health, for your skin. It's self-explanatory, but dairy products break down, the protein in it breaks down, and it releases a hormone similar to insulin. And that hormone can trigger acne in your body. So if you're someone like me that loves dairy products and you have a lot of acne, maybe that's the reason why you're breaking out so much. Maybe look at your diet, see where you're going wrong and change it up a little bit. And if that doesn't work as well, maybe it's time that you go see a dermatologist and someone like me can't help you that much. I remember I was like maybe 17 or 18. I was still in high school and it was near the holidays. Me and my sister wanted to get a facial together and we did. It was like maybe, I think it was less than a week to the holidays, I don't really remember. But what I do remember is after getting that facial, I did all the steps that they told me to do, but my skin was so irritated and it was so red, I couldn't wear makeup. And in every single photo that I looked at, I was red. And that is not something that I want to experience again. So every time that I do want to get a facial before the holidays, before my birthday, or any other events that I have in mind, I make sure to book it at least two to three weeks before that event. So my skin isn't that irritated for, well, the big plans that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And happy holidays.